Greetings from the French Church du Saint-Esprit here in New York City. Holy Week and Easter, together with Christmas, are the most important moments in the Christian calendar. Holy Week begins on Palm Sunday with a commemoration of Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem on a donkey, acclaimed by the crowds with palms and, and branches. On this day, we also participate in a dramatic reading of the betrayal, trial and crucifixion of Jesus. In the week following, Holy Week, we remember Jesus' last interactions with his disciples before his crucifixion. On the Wednesday in Holy Week, we hear about Judas and his betrayal of Jesus. On the Thursday, we gather around our altar to remember the last meal that Jesus had with his disciples when he commanded them, do this in remembrance of me. On Friday, we hear about Jesus' crucifixion. We pray together for the church and for the world, and we meditate on the love shown to us on the cross. On Saturday, we prepare the church for Easter Day with a spring cleaning and decorations, flowers, and cooking some of the food that we'll share on Easter morning. The Easter season ends 50 days later with a commemoration of the coming of the Holy Spirit to the disciples gathered in the upper room, understood as the birthday of the worldwide church. It also happens to be what we call our Feast of Title, Saint-Esprit, the Holy Spirit uh, after which our church is named. All over the world, the church has celebrated this season in this way for almost 2,000 years. But it's as fresh and as new every year as it was when it was first experienced. Actors often say that when they go on stage, they discover a new aspect of their character every night. And the same is true for us in the season of Holy Week and Easter. It's our participation in the recreation of those events that makes this freshness possible. We read, we sing, we pray together, we reenact the roles of the crowds and the disciples and even of Jesus himself in our services on Palm Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday and Easter Day. So whether you plan to join us in person or online, may your Easter be filled with newness and freshness and a rekindling of the hope and the promise that in our sorry world, death will never overcome life and love. See you soon and thank you.